silence, my brother. Cicero. Ah! What? Cicero, please. Listen. It's me, Ingrath. Astrid Cano, I'm here. Wait, oh wait! I know you. Yes, yes! But you disappeared! You were there, then you weren't! Did you mean to help poor Cicero or not? I'm left to wonder. Cicero, I thought you died in the fire. I thought you all died, and I ran. But I'm back now, and we need to talk. Please. Why talk? Cicero has nothing to say to you. Call it a matter of trust. Look, I came to tell you that she spoke. The Lady of Whispers. She says that I'm the one. She spoke to you? More treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Listen to me. Darkness rises when silence dies. Isn't that what you've been waiting to hear? She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true, she's back. Our lady is back. Cicero, quiet. Please, I need you to do something for me. Give this to Astrid. Tell her the listener has been chosen. 
and a contract has been made. It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! Now Astrid knows there's a listener. And that she can't run the Brotherhood the way she does for much longer without consequence. At least that's how I hope this is going to play out. And as for me, well... This letter is something else. And I'm going to need to get it appraised. An owl. I haven't heard one of those in a while. Maybe it's because we're so close to Cyrodiil. Right. Most esteemed overseer, as was already communicated to your subordinate, that would be me. I wish to hire your organization for some delicate ambassadorial work. Right. So this first one, that's easy. The upcoming wedding at the Temple of the Divines in Solitude. That's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, I would assume. And I'm supposed to kill her. The second part I need help with. And the rest... Who knows. However, I think I know just the woman to ask. A woman skilled at interpreting, well, cryptic messages. Who's this? There's the owl again. Imperials. Speaking of people I don't trust. I saw that bear.
Oh, bear. Not the stealthiest thing I've ever done. But honestly... You know, I'll never get tired of being able to run faster than a deer. I hope I never will anyway. Vigilant. Great. I really hope he didn't see me. At least I assume that's a vigilant. Not entirely sure who else it could be. But we'll just keep a low profile through here, won't we? Try to, anyway. It's a smoldering ruin in here. Huh. All right, you. Honestly, with all the dragons about, I'm not entirely surprised that Helgen looks like this. Not at all. I was about to say it's a nice night, but it looks like we might have some weather coming in. Great. If not for the fact that I had to go up to Valenru to get that assignment, I probably would have gone to talk to Cicero first. Storm folks. Lucky for me, they can't see in the dark. There's the snow. Not that I mind. <laughs> the cold stopped bothering me years ago.
Nobody on the switchbacks, that's lucky. An orc. I'm alright with an orc. Honestly, if she saw me, uh... <laughs> I wonder what it does look like to most people right now. Oh. Well, not quite pitch black, but... Close enough. That reminds me... Stand down. Like a wolf knows what stand down means. That's not good. What was that about? Oh. Oh, gods. That's a mess. A mess. A mess and a half. Time to leave. The war is getting worse. Much worse, it looks like. Who is this? More of them. I seem to have stumbled into an ambush. Oh, great. Oh, that's why. An ambush? No, I've stumbled into a camp. Lovely. And this is Stormcloak territory, isn't it? I think that was the bard. Talsgar, his name was. He's looking better than the last time I saw him. Of course, the last time I saw him, it was because I was putting an axe into his chest. Must be someone came along and healed him. These roads are getting dangerous. Very dangerous. Don't. 
Look at me, I'm getting paranoid. Like I wasn't already. But still. Those ones are Riften guards. I can feel my own heart racing. And I'm all turned around. Something bad is going to happen. I can feel it. I just don't know what. It could be a dragon pops out of the sky and drops down on my head. Honestly, I would kind of expect that. What in the gods' names is going on over there? Or over there? Great. I picked a great night to come to Riften. Someone took a wrong turn, maybe. Who's that? Imperials with a prisoner. Oh, good. the lake. Got all turned around. I can find Falder's tooth. I will know where I am. saw me. Uh, 
Time to end you this little game. Me. What Great. This should be our blood drinker. You've already lost. All right. And I've surrounded. Great. Run. Oh dear. Excuse me. Someone do something. Help! Somebody help! Sure, have mercy on you. I'll see you in pieces. I'll make you pay. <laughs> you prepared to die. I love what you Had to be the Dawn Guard, didn't it? Sure have mercy on you. Had to be. You've already lost. You will pay for that. I have to lose them somehow. I'll make you pay. It's okay. Um, it's gonna be okay. Uh, okay. Hey. Um, Hi. It'll just try not to move, okay? That bolt in your side did a lot of damage, and I'm trying to do this without doing any more. Ah. There. How's that feel? <laughs> Where am I? Falder's Tooth. You came staggering in here and nearly bled out. I... But I didn't move you far. Just enough to get away from the door. Good. <laughs> Damn. I... I lost a lot of blood. You're right. Yeah, and my spells don't work on you. You know what I am, then. Yep. Then, why are you helping me? Because it's what I do. In my pack, the one that was on my belt, there should be a couple bottles of... Oh, oh, uh, yeah, hold on, um, let me just find that for you. There. Better? Yeah, much. I think I should have done that sooner. What happened to you? <laughs> what hasn't? Uh, um... Look, I don't know you. I owe you now for not killing me on the spot once you realize what I am. I'm not gonna- Oh, y you don't owe me anything. I just... I just did what I needed to do. I don't like seeing people get hurt, and I figured you weren't as dangerous as whatever was outside, so... You're a very strange woman. You don't know the half of it. Enlighten me. Names first. What? Oh, uh, I'm Kinoa Almerzim, though you probably know me by a different name. You trust me with your real name? Well, yeah. Sure, why wouldn't I? Consider, if you will, that I could be a Thalmor spy. Would you want them knowing who and where you are? Knowing the Thalmor, they probably do already. <laughs> well, 
What's your other name, Miss Almazine? Uh... Well... It's... Ismir. I'm the Dragonborn. Hard to believe, I know. Dragonborn? Tell me something. Whose side are you on? Side? I mean, I don't really have a side. Who do you report to? A bunch of dead people right at the moment. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're serious. Of course I'm serious. If you want me to shout, I could prove it, but it's- No, that's okay. I've been at this game for so damn long, it- I don't know. It seems unusual for someone to be honest for once. What? What game? What do you mean, uh, you've been at the game? The game. Cat and mouse. Favors and gifts. Scheming, subterfuge, stabbing people in the back. Or in this case, the side. Um... Who are you? I'm... Not sure I should tell you that. I did just save your life, sir. I'm aware. You're also a rather high-profile individual. Forgive me for taking a few moments to decide whether I want someone of your standing knowing who and what I am. My standing? With whom? The Greybeards? You're the Thane of Whiterun. Oh. Look, I don't know who's after you, but I'm reasonably sure I don't work for them, even accidentally. I kill dragons and... know things. That's about it. Know things? What do you mean? That's hard to explain. I see things and hear things. I'm not... Okay, I might be a little crazy, but I did come here, I did just save your life, and I did it because I had a vision of this place. It sounds crazy, but... Not to me. Really? Let's just say I'm a bit crazy myself. Alright, I trust you. But if somehow you were to let my name slip... You will lose your voice the same way Tiber Septim lost his. Understood? I... Yeah. But don't you think that's a bit harsh? No. No, I don't. Okay. I won't say anything. You seem like the kind of person I want on my side if things go sideways. Likewise. My acquaintances know me as Cayman. It's a name I use on paper to avoid linking people to me. Mostly it's for their safety. That's actually pretty smart. Arath Stormsong is the name I've managed to drag through several kinds of hell in the past hundred years or so. Take care not to let it rub off on you. Ingrath... Stormsong? Funny that, isn't it? I wonder who set that one up. Yeah. It... <laughs> kind of makes me wonder what kind of role you have in all of this. <laughs> I've been asking myself that since I left my father's knee. I keep hoping maybe I'll find an answer someday. Thank you for saving my life, Lady Almerzim. Uh oh... You can just call me Kinoa. I don't- If I ever see you again, I will. It was an honor to meet you, Dragonborn. I- The honor is all mine, Mr. Stormsong. <laughs> right. Try not to cause too much trouble. Likewise. And, uh, kind blessings to you. Thanks, though I don't really work well with the Aedra. 
Oh. Uh. Sorry. Wind guide you, Ismir. You too, Cayman. 